Hello, this is Angela, and I have a question. How are you going to win when you ain't right within? How are you going to win when you ain't right within? How are you going to win when you ain't right within? Uh-uh, come again. Let's have a conversation. But first, check out my little outfit of the day. I was feeling a little blue and outfit wise that is anyway <laughs> let's check out the outfit And as we know, that song was written by and sung by Lauren Hill. And it's one of my favorite songs, the doo-wop song. And that song, I believe, is so deep and so profound. And one of the reasons why I chose the title or the theme of my channel is, you know, Welcome to the City of Healing where the city resides within is because of that song. You know, years ago, I listened to that song probably a million times. I love that song. And it finally resonated me and had great, great meaning as to what it really, really meant. And I started doing the work and I continue to do the work because it's always about self-improvement and being the best version of yourself. And that's why I talk about it on this channel holistically you know how we can work on ourselves and I think one thing that can play into working um, on oneself is knowing the seven hermetic principles from the emerald tablets and they named it Hermi hermetic principle but it was written by Thoth uh, ancient Egyptian God as we say and I've talked about the word God before God is a man-made word. It doesn't mean worship. Um, it means, in my opinion, reverence. But um, I digress a little bit. But let's talk about the seven hermetic principles. The first and my favorite being mentalism. All is mind. So you think, so you are. You know, no one can create your own heaven. No one else can create your heaven, I mean. You know, you create your own heaven. You create your own hell, right? And the second one being correspondence, as above, so below. The two worlds that exist for everybody, you know. There's a star for everybody, and the stars are in the sky. And you are the replica of that star. So all of us have the ability to shine. That's the law of attraction. How you attract what to oneself. And the third being I believe it's the third. I might get um, um, out of order. But the third being vibration. Vibration, everything is always moving. Everything is energy. Everything is living, you know. Uh, the most profound, if you really think about it, Mother Earth, Gaia, is a living organism, breathing. The air around you is her breath. <laughs> The trees are her lungs, you know, and we are her children waiting to be born, you know. Everything is in motion. Everything is living. The law of vibration is profound. And the next one is polarity. Everything has its opposite. Yin, yang, big, small, um, up, down. Everything has its opposite. The fifth being rhythm. Rhythm is understanding the ebbs and flows of life. You know, everything is not supposed to be constant. You're not always happy. You're not always sad. Expect that because life happens. You know, 
I can't fake being happy and I'm not always going to be down, you know. Just understanding that's the way that life goes. That's not where you're going to stay. If things aren't working for you right now, and they usually do, you know, just know your time is coming back. That's the law of rhythm. It's law. And law is law, especially when it pertains to nature. And the next is cause and effect. Another one of my favorites. There's a reason for everything. There's a reason why you meet certain people. There's a reason why you didn't get that car. There's a reason why you didn't get that job. There's a reason why you are with who you are with right now. There's a reason why you listen to this video right now. Everything. There are no accidents. And the last, and I believe I did the seventh, is gender. One that I'm trying to understand more of right now is that each human being or every living organism has the capability of having male female capabilities for example the female being the creatress the male being the hunter you know we all have that aspect within us and we can have certain aspects that are dormant but we both have them we all have them and i'm trying to understand that sorry <laughs> and I'm trying to understand that aspect the wind is blowing <laughs> that aspect more if you will of the law of polarity I mean the law of gender and I apologize I don't know if I'll keep this video maybe I will I might not I don't want to make it again perhaps so but we'll see but anyway I just wanted to come forth to share you know my outfit of the day basically it's a simple outfit I got this from my job it was simple and I decided to get it could do a lot with it the scarf someone gave it to me as a souvenir from France um, it's a lovely scarf I just happened to want to do it like this today this jewelry I've had for over 10 years my first piece of jewelry I bought for myself still have it uh, these rings I forget where I got this one from but I thought it was different probably a consignment store this one I got from um, an African store handmade very powerful ring <laughs> I believe my shades I think I got them like from the Dollar Tree or something like that because I can't see out of shades <laughs> um, I see out of these a little better because they don't really have the ultraviolet whatever is going on and these are one of my favorite pair of silver earrings uh, my shoes I forgot where I got them from but I think that is profound. <laughs> I think that's profound that it matches this perfectly the same color. And uh, I just wanted to come forth, share my little outfit of today, be motivated to go out and have a good day. And I hope you are too. And to share with you the seven hermetic principles, a way, one way that we are encouraged to look at ourselves and our world and become the best version of ourselves and I leave you with this again how are you gonna win when you ain't right within how are you gonna win when you ain't right within how are you gonna win when you ain't right within uh-uh come again <laughs> you all have a great day thanks